guys, this is Amalia with Crafty Dream Studio. Thank you for joining me today. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. You can also find me on Facebook. I'm at Crafty Dream Studio there. And I would also appreciate it if you would like and follow my page on Facebook. And of course, if you see anything that you love, you can purchase it at craftydreamstudio.com. I appreciate all of your support and purchases. They help me continue making videos for you guys. All right, without further ado, let's get started. We are going to be working with the Club Couture for October. I absolutely love the October Club Couture. It is so clever. And then we're going to be using the 10 by 10 boards. Now these boards are on sale 50% off. So if you want any, go grab them. The link is in the description box. So you can go grab you one. If you would like to join Club Couture, which is an exclusive monthly subscription, there is also a link in the description box for that as well. So let me show you how cute the October Club Couture is. Are y'all ready? Get a load of this. It's an acorn and it is precious. It says happy fall days. So let's get this opened up. And when you order your subscription to Club Couture, every month you will receive an exclusive transfer only available to members and you receive three paste singles. And the ones that come with this are orange peel, candy apple red and almond. So you have choices as to how you want to do your acorn. For me, I've decided that I'm going to use shimmer copper and I'm going to use iced coffee. These are the two that I'll be using on my acorn. And that's the great thing about Chocotour. You can design your piece any way you want it. You can make it match any decor, whether it be yours or one of a friend or family member that you are going to gift this to. Or if you do craft fairs or events, you can make up a whole bunch of different ones so that they appeal to a large variety of audience for their home decor. So it is totally, totally up to you. Okay, so this is a brand new transfer. So I am going to suds it up and that just means I am removing some of the excess. And I want to let you know that when you become a Club Couture member, you are also get exclusive deals, exclusive sales. I know that this month, Club Couture members are getting an exclusive sale that is only available to them. So you do get a bunch of goodies. Oh, and it's only $19.99 a month. That's it. There is absolutely no shipping. Shipping is free. So if you would like to give Club Couture a try, the link is in the description box and it is only a three month commitment. So after three months, if you decide it's not something that you would like to continue, you could always cancel it after three months. But trust me, you are going to love all the designs. All right. Now you just simply have to place it where you want it. And of course you can place it like this, like this, any way you want it. So I think I like it right there. So this is a large silk screen area. I want to make sure that I don't have any bubbles in the silk screen area. If I have a bubble off here to the side, that's not a big deal. It is just where I'm going to chalk. And today I will be showing you a technique called marbling. So that way you have something else you can use with your chalk couture transfers. Another technique for you. All right. And again, I'm just lifting this to make sure that I have zero, zero bubbles. Although with the marbling technique, it's gonna look perfectly fine. Okay, so what I've decided to do is I'm going to do this piece in copper and then this piece down here where it says happy fall days, I'm going to do the marbling technique. So let's get started. And let's take a look at our paste. 
look at that gorgeous color love it it's like a copper penny and i'm going to just stir 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 it is a beautiful consistency so i have that ready to go and then let me go ahead and open up my iced coffee that's another gorgeous color this is an invo color if you love it grab it oh there we go so i'm going to put that one there and there so i'm ready to go this is going to be super fast guys okay so i'm going to start i'm going to do the chalk and peel method so that simply means that i'm going to apply chalk to this section and then i'll peel it up so that the paste does not dry on the transfer you want to break that seal because if you if it you take too long for example on this part and you do not remove or do the lift part you could uh, pick up some of your chalk when you go to remove it to, to do the reveal so I love the chalk and peel method all right now I'm just going to simply remove all the excess from the transfer like this I cannot wait to see what it looks like. If I get a little bit on the acorn, it's okay cuz I I will be I will be putting some of the copper on there too. Okay, there we go. Now let's list. Oh. <laughs> Look at how gorgeous that looks. Oh, I love it. All right, now I'm going to lay it back down and I'm just going to press down the part that I'm going to chalk. And I'm going to use the edge of this to make sure I get that good and down. Okay, now for the marbling technique. I'm going to take some iced coffee on my small squeegee, and then I'm just gonna make little lines. And they're not gonna be straight. You see how I'm kind of staggering them? Oops, I got a little bit on there. That's okay. I'm staggering them. Now for this, with this method, you are gonna have a little bit of waste with paste because when you go and you scrape it off, you're gonna have two colors on there, so you will not be able to put them back in the container. So here, and let's do a little bit up here. All right, so there's that. Now I'm going to take my copper, and I'm gonna fill in all the other areas. So wherever I didn't get any Of the iced coffee I'm gonna go in with the copper and if you notice it put a lot on my on my squeegee because you want to make sure you have plenty on there okay I think that's good so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a clean squeegee and now you're going to scrape, but watch how I'm going to do this. Um, first, I'm gonna take this and do you see I'm wiggling, I'm wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm wiggling the paste. This is how I'm gonna get that marbling technique. So just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle like this. back and forth. Just back and forth. And you can use different, like I have the angle squeegee so I can switch angles. If I wanna make sure I get some more copper in here, I can do that. 
and just wiggle, wiggle back and forth, making sure you have the whole transfer covered. Like this. And then if you want to, let's say I wanted a little bit more copper, or copper over here, making sure it was distinct. Okay, I could do that. Now I'm going to remove the excess. And like I said, with this one, you can't put it back in the container. So I have a napkin and then I'm gonna go straight down because I don't wanna mix it any more than it's already mixed. That's how I'm gonna get my marble technique. And I can tell that I have some errors right here that didn't get any paste. So then all I have to do is this. Then I'm gonna go back down. And just put the excess on this paper towel. And as you do this technique, you know, you may find that you don't need to lay down as much paste. But this is how you do it. Super easy. There we go. Now y'all guys ready for the reveal? I know I am. But let me go ahead and get these out of the way because do you see that? I already got my finger completely dirty, not just with copper, but with iced coffee as well. <laughs> go figure. All right, let me get that out of the way. Now for the reveal. Oh, look at that. Love that marbling technique. Oh my goodness. I love how that came out. Oh, so, so pretty. And I did get some iced coffee right there, but I can just go back with the copper and go over it. Let me go ahead and do that right now to show you. Just gonna take a little bit of the copper. It's just, I had a little bit drop. There we go. Actually, what I really need to do is use a paintbrush. But I'll get that in a minute. But take a look at that. Happy fall days. And I love the marbling. Get a load of that marbling. Well, if you enjoyed this project, be sure to sign up for Club Couture. And remember, you can use any colors you want. I absolutely love the copper. Let me get you another look at that. That's gorgeous. And then, of course, this is the iced coffee. These are the two colors I used. So you can always change up the colors that you use when you receive your Club Couture. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. Have a great day or night, wherever you are.